When designing and building a model solar home, it is important to calculate how much south-facing glass, that is, the total area of windows and glass doors on the south-facing side of your building, you have according to the area or square footage of your house. The desired amount of south-facing glass differs depending on how well insulated your home is, how much sunlight there is available year-round, the type of window glass used, and the local climate of where your home is designed for. For example, in Florida you will want to focus on keeping your home cool, while in North Dakota you will want to focus on keeping your house warm. To estimate how much south-facing glass you need in a mild climate, such as Northern California, let's assume that we want about 12 square feet of glass for every 100 square feet of floor area. Our first step is to find the area of the floor plan. To find the area or square footage of your house, multiply the length times the width. So for a house that is 24 feet wide and 40 feet long, your square footage is 900 square feet. If your house has more than one story, do your calculations for the first floor, then repeat the same process for the other floor or floors. Our next step is to find the area of south-facing glass. To estimate 12 square feet of glass for every 100 square feet of floor area, we will multiply the floor area by 0 0.12. For our house, we will multiply 960 square feet by 0 0.12, which gives us 115 square feet of south-facing glass. This estimate is not an exact number, but a goal to strive towards. For this house to have adequate passive solar heat gain, we want the total area of all the windows and glass doors on the south side to be about 115 square feet. Now it's time to decide how many windows and doors you want. Depending on your design preferences, you may want a glass wall or you may want standard size windows. The important thing to remember is that the combined area of all your south facing glass should be close to your estimated goal. We have decided to draw in four windows that are each 16 square feet, three glass doors that are each 12 square feet, and one smaller window that is also 12 square feet. When we add up the area of each window and glass door, we get 112 square feet. Yay! This is very close to our goal of 115 square feet. If it was much larger or smaller than our goal, we would want to go back to the drawing board and choose different size windows or doors. The last step is to add thermal mass. A key factor of the success of your design is remembering to pair your south-facing glass with thermal mass that will absorb the sunlight coming through the windows and slowly radiate it out into your home. Thermal mass works best when it is uncovered and receives direct sunlight. While the design is entirely up to you, some people use rock walls, some people use water tubes, and others simply rely on stone flooring, you'll want the thermal mass area to be about three times greater than the area of south-facing glass. On our model, we'll multiply 112 square feet of south glass by 3, which gives us 336 square feet of thermal mass needed. Let's put tile flooring on the south side of the house. If the tiles go 10 feet into the house, we can get enough thermal mass, because 40 feet times 10 feet equals 400 square feet of thermal mass, and we needed at least 336 square feet. Now that you've calculated south-facing glass and thermal mass, you have completed two out of three of your architectural drawings.
you'd like to learn more, please visit our website at www.solarschoolhouse.org.